Hello, all you beautiful people. My name is Jeremuth, and welcome to another video of wonderful life choices, bad life choices, and maybe a trip to an antique shop. Uh, all in one. Oh, uh, and this is an AI art uh, pick of a dragon. Eh, they didn't work out really well, but it still kind of has a dragon feel to it. I feel it does, but I know people have a lot of issues with AI art. Anyway, so as the as the tile says, I went to an antique shop today, but I did a, f I had a few things first today. One is I went to work out in the morning, you know, just trying to do a little weightlifting. And, uh, you know, I ended up hurting myself. And you know how that goes in uh, working out where you sometimes think you got it, but you don't. And then you pay attention. You don't, I'm oh, sorry, you don't pay attention. And then all of a sudden something bad happens. Yeah, well, that was, that was me. So uh, I was doing a bench press or bench presses. I didn't really have any spotter. Now I know. I learned my lesson. But uh, I decided to go for the weight I've been going for, which was around a little over 100. And somewhere along the way, I ended up dropping that bar on my chest. Now, obviously, I get it off as quick as possible, but it still hurts a bit. Uh, luckily, going to the ER, no damage, just going to be sore and stiff for a while. So it should be interesting. But I've got to take it easy for the next couple of days. So uh, I've learned my lesson very, very well. That's just part one. Next is the illustrious movie called No Hard Feelings, starring Jennifer Lawrence and uh, a gentleman which I forgot the name of. Um, but I think... Uh, I'll, I'll look it up later. Anyway, I went to see it, and I thought it was pretty good. It was uh, it was a movie that I felt either that felt that fit Jennifer Lawrence as an individual, or she fit into really well. It was sort of like if if you were to look at it, if you were to look at um, uh, well, I'll I'll do a, a video separately from this. This is just a video to O from Friday, which I didn't do. Uh, I went to bed early, so, haha. -ha. Um, but I'll talk about No Hard Feelings later. But in the end, I gave it a 6.5 out of 10 because it was all right, but it's not going to win the Grammy. So how about that? But anyway, so the, the ultimate goal of this video is to talk about going to an antique shop. And I I think I've gone to an antique, antique shop before, but it's... It hasn't. It's been a very long time, and it's always interesting to see the things either people let go or leave behind that are still intact, and that other people will buy. Um, but the the one issue is you you get kind of sometimes you just buy it for the look, or sometimes you get kind of curious about the history. And so um, uh, I did eventually buy it, but I looked through it at all these old uh, cabinets, wooden cabinets, these tables, these chairs, and now I'm realizing I should have taken pictures of it, but I digress. It, it's it's one of those things you don't think about at the time, but it's an experience. An antique shop is an experience, and um, yeah, uh, I ended up, I was trying to look for a book that was really old because I know Certain books can't be read on the internet unless they're out of copyright, which this one is. It was made in the 1920s, so it's far beyond the scope of copyright. So I may do another video about that as well. But I bought the book not because it was um, just about... It's it's called The McCall Speller, which, um, which is about spelling um, and how to do spelling. And I'll, again, I'll do another video later on but it's it's it had some writing in it someone uh and i'll again i'll do a video about it so i can show you stuff on the inside and all that but someone had left notes in this book and while and there was another book i saw too that was about geometry 
that someone had left notes in, and I may go back for that one day. But for this one, I wanted to get because it's a pretty thin book. I'm, again, I can read out of it. No issue. But, oh, uh, and the book is called The McCall Speller for junior high school. Uh, it says grade, uh, where does it start at? Where does it start? It starts at grade seven to eight, I believe. Oh, in grade nine. Sorry, it goes from seven grade seven to grade nine. So it's a very thin book. Again, I will take pictures and show on the next video to kind of deep dive. But reading the notes is sort of like it's it's like leave someone's leaving. It's like a time capsule in a sense. It's a time capsule that can change hands, can get destroyed, but it's a time capsule that someone had put something of themselves inside and not even known it or cared to. And I always am fascinated. I'm fascinated by that because it's like there's a lot of things that get destroyed. And, you know, I'm sure you've seen the, like the American picker, picker up or something like that, like the History Channel, where they go around to different areas just buying the stuff and reselling it and all that. And while you can make money off this stuff, it, it sort of gave me a pause of like, you know, how many how many people throughout history have written in something and left something of themselves behind and it survived till this day? I would think not many. And it made me think about writing a story about like, uh, I don't know, I really don't have a title. I kind of made one in my head, but it kind of made me think about writing a story or doing a story that would have someone discovering a book that someone sort of treated like a journal in essence, but in a way it survived through other people by them writing a piece of themselves in it. So it's sort of like if you've ever seen uh, My Hero Academia, right? Where, uh, you know, the power for one, one for all is passed down through one person. And this sort of book uh, gets passed down by person to person because they, you know, there's like a, uh, there, there, there's like a few rules in it that, you know, you kind of have to, you don't have to abide by, but it's sort of kept the book going through history. And I was just, it was just a story I thought about writing, but I'm, I'm not good at writing stories. So maybe someone can, whatever, but I thought that would be a pretty interesting story about a book. It's like, it almost sounds like the never ending story, but not really because the never ending story is self-writing. It writes itself. It's a magic book. But this book would be a collection of people's personal stories through time. And as people pick it up and, and write into it, they either pass it on in some way or, or, or finds its way to someone else. And I thought that'd be an interesting story if I ever knew how to write well. But anyway, that's a story. That's a thing for a different time. But anyway, I just wanted to tell you about those few things that kind of happened to me today. And... The experiences of life we live through, even if we don't fully enjoy it, or yeah, even if we don't fully enjoy it, or maybe there's a similarity along the way. So, um, but like I said earlier, this this video is sort of something that I forgot on Friday, so I apologize for that. Um, I'm trying to keep something consistent, even though I don't get a lot of views. It's it's fun to talk about these things. I think a live stream would be nice, but I don't uh, I don't know if I'm able to do a live stream per se because you have to have subscribers. So wherever you are, wherever these are posted, please give a like and a subscribe so that I may continue on reaching more people and just talking about the, the ground floor stuff because I think more people want to hear about ground floor things than high and mighty things. Let me talk about and I'll talk about many different things if there's someone who suggests or otherwise. So there's a personal opinion to give on. And I, I may in the future play games, do live stream games as well. But again, I, I one, I don't know if I have the equipment. And two, I don't know if I can because you have to have subscribers on either. Uh, right now it's YouTube and Rumble. So I hope you all have a wonderful day. And I hope your experience today and tomorrow are bright and fruitful and that you find something that interests or amazes you. Hope you guys have a good one. 
I'll talk to you another time. Bye.